gold in the trunk. I'm back. Road Rants on DC Comics. God. So, if you follow my channel, you watch my channel, if you're a member of the Road Squadron, you know my favorite superhero character, comic character, DC, Marvel, anything is the Batman. And, and if you want to throw movies in there, he's my second favorite movie character behind only Han Solo from the Star Wars galaxy, right? Well, so I went over to watch a trailer put out by DC Comics called Gotham High. You can go in my playlist, see the reaction. I am none too thrilled. Well, now further information is trickling out. By the way, said trailer has 1.7 thousand Big old thumbs up, and 14,000 <laughs> thumbs down. You have been ratioed and downvoted straight to hell. Why? Because once again, you bring somebody in, Melissa De La Cruz, and you give them full run of the Ryan Johnson level run of the playing field. Do whatever you want with these sacred fucking characters to people and then you yeah that's what happens you piss people off again ryan johnson luke skywalker anybody they they don't respect these characters so they they light them on fire they don't mean anything to them right now this is a a further snippet from an interview from Entertainment Weekly. Bruce Wayne is a billionaire. He's the richest man alive. So I thought, wouldn't it be fun if his family was Chinese and from Hong Kong? Who moved to Hong Kong to Arcadia in Los Angeles, so that's where my mom lives. I'm part Chinese. Look. Look. That's great, but Bruce Wayne's not. I've got no issue with you being Chinese. I don't. But the character you've been handed is a white dude. Bruce Wayne is a straight white guy. <gasps> Roads, you ain't supposed to say that out loud. Roads, don't. Uh -uh. Straight white guy. Oh, I know. The most evil person on the planet is the me, the straight white dude, okay? <laughs> so, we've got to change that up. Let's let's not have that because all of a sudden we're not evil, we're evil, okay? And then I just wanted him to have a little bit more representative of my background, giving him an authentic family. Alfred is not just his butler, but also his uncle. His gay uncle from fucking Hong Kong. <laughs> oh, shit. Let us, let us go back. Alfred is not just his butler, but also his uncle. His gay uncle from fucking Hong Kong. If I didn't read that, if that wasn't from an actual interview, you would say, Rhodes, you are making this shit up. This is real. This is for real. Son of a bitch. Um, Longtime subscribers, you will love this. Arrow to the motherfucking BAM! I hole green arrow to the bam I hole you disrespecting motherfuckers this is why the comic industry is taking an arrow taking a batter range straight to the fucking heart right now look some guy came through the other day and said this is not why it's digital and blah look 
I know a lot, hell of a lot of comic book fans. You know what they love to do? They love to walk in a goddamn comic shop and pick up physical comics, and they want to flip. We all know, flip through the cardboard, get it, 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 new comic day, hang out at the comic shop, you look at the figures, right? I got the flash up on the wall from a comic shop. We fucking love comic shops. I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear it, okay? And Patelli, he's the illustrator, I think, breathes new life into the character, especially in today's world since we're living in the most diverse world probably ever lived in. So it's, it's more representative of Batman in 2020. So swapping his... Swapping out straight white dude for Chinese dude is more representative. Because there are no more white guys in 2020. Motherfucker said what? (laughs) Okay. So, this is what happens when you get people that's got their own fucking agendas... You hand them the keys to the car. They wreck and run the motherfucker straight into a telephone pole. Which is where they just ran Batman and two of his precious characters. By the way, they put Selena Kyle in Bruce Wayne and alternate world Bruce Le- Bruce Wayne <laughs> and Jack Napier, a.k.a. the Joker. They put them in a love triangle together. So... Like I said the other day, Bruce Wayne is now a young side piece to the Joker. Do you think Bruce Wayne wouldn't whip his motherfucking ass for even looking at his girl? What fucking universe are you guys in? That you think Bruce Wayne wouldn't have whipped the shit out of Jack Napier and been like, bitch, don't even look in her direction again. You feel me? This is why comics are dying. Tell me what you think, Road Squadron, as DC Comics is now trying to give Marvel Comics a run for their woke meter points, okay? Marvel still got them beat with Safe Space and fucking Snowflake. (laughs) I can't even believe I'm saying that shit out loud. Still got them beat, but this is pretty fucking bad. Peace. I'm out. You know the rest.